All right, hey guys, girls, Phil here, next 72 hours, coming to you from outside on the trail, out doing a bit of a walk today, and I thought we'd take the opportunity to have a quick look at the self-test function here for the Ocean Signals PLB1 Rescue Me Personal Locator Beacon. Had this uh, for a few years now, and the battery's due to expire in 2028. So this was touted as the um, smallest personal locator beacon out there on the market. It is very, very small and compact. So in that sense, it's fantastic. It's easy to keep with you. There's no excuse not to carry it. Even when, like today, I'm out on a uh, local trail not far from civilization, I still carry with this with me at all times. But uh, as stated, it's got a seven-year battery life, 2028 in this case, for this to run out. And it, this can be replaced if it's sent into the repair center and uh, set to go again. But uh, all of these beacons come with a self-test function and an activation function. Uh, obviously you don't want to get those two mixed up. This one here doesn't float. It's not a floating beacon, so it comes with this flotation pouch here. And obviously states you should always keep it in the pouch there. You don't want to get it separated, otherwise it will uh, not float if you fall in the river. So if we take it out of the pouch here, it's a little bit caught on that lip. Here we go. You can see just how uh, small that actually is. It's pretty amazing. Uh, we've got a few inf information details here about the battery, temperature conditions, and on the side here you'll see a description on how to test this unit here. Pretty simple. Step one, get this an antenna pulled out. Step two, open the door and hit the T button there. So if we just have a quick look here, you've got two uh, little buttons here. Obviously, again, you don't want to get them mixed up. Pretty obvious. Bright red for danger there, that's your activation button. Only to be used during situations of grave or imminent danger, as it states there. And down below you've got your T function for testing. Uh, what I've also got today, I've got my uh, Yaesu VX6R amateur radio here, which I'm licensed to carry. And I've got it set to the frequency here, which is for the satellite receiver. So when this was to go off and broadcast that signal this is the frequency it should be putting out so I thought we'd just test that out today as well and see if we can't pick up the test signal as that gets sent out to the satellite there so without further ado we'll get this set up these are pretty easy um, again like everything else with this unit you just you've got a small notch on here take that there pull it out you can see that that uh, turns around and then if you're going to be putting it back in you just twist it and it goes back in but there we go we've got that set up facing the sky that's really important you want to be have have clear sky above you when you're activating these or testing them so you can get that signal out then we just open up the little latch here and again we're going to be pushing the T for test function we should see a couple of flashes of the light, ideally a green one, to show us that it's working, and a flash of the LED uh, beacon light there, which will continue to flash uh, momentarily if it's been activated. So it should give us um, a testing flash and confirmation of signal received. And we'll see if we can pick it up on this radio as well. So it says here on the side, hold it down for one second. So that's what we're going to do, and we'll go from there. I'll turn up the radio just in case. Yep, that's nice and loud. And here we go, we'll test. Fantastic. So there we go, we've got the green lights to indicate that the test was successful. We've got the flash of the beacon there, and we also picked up the signal coming through to the satellite there on the Yesu on 406040, the satellite signal. So that's basically it. You know that that system is good to go. The green light indicates that the battery is good and the system's working. And then all you need to do is just twist this around here. It's got a little bit of pull to it. And then it's all set up. Back in its case. Back in its little pouch. and you know that you're good to go with a device that's ready to work. Obviously you don't want to be testing it um, every time that you go out, but maybe every six months to 12 months. 
uh, periodically give it a test obviously it's going to use a bit of that battery life this is rated for 24 hours of continuous operation on activation on that battery there so yeah, like I said you don't want to test it every day or every time you go out but uh, regularly enough so that you know it's going to work anyway that's been a quick look at the beacon and the self test function there and uh, next uh, video we'll actually go over the beacon itself and um, the benefits of it uh, and all the other details so thanks for joining me on this video today until the next time keep safe and keep prepared out there cheers